Hi guys. <laughs> I don't know why I keep laughing like this. Okay, another day of panic. Ignore my broken mirror. Another day of panic of me being late, going on a date today. But um, I am recording for my previous date because I'm. I think I'm a week behind in updates and yeah it's been shenanigans. all right so my last date oh oh my gosh everyone welcome <laughs> to my dating series where i um i'm basically trying to be more open-minded and go on some dates um i'm doing 12 dates <laughs> at the time i was like okay but now i'm like 12 days dates is a lot but we'll see what's going on so I'm actually getting ready to go out on a date at the moment. Um, but I had a date on Sunday. So I said I'd update every Monday, but I was absolutely shattered. Um, I had a sick Halloween party. Um, and then um, I needed a day to recover, which kind of led to what went wrong with this one. So... Um, I'm also going to do a summary of the dates that didn't work out because um, rather than doing like an update in between it's easier for me to do it like oh here's what's happened in between <laughs> on the last episode of Dragon Ball Z um, yeah so I do I feel like the last the date that I had last wasn't that bad what happened to, on my council the date was the problem okay so the last date that i had okay we'll do this we're gonna go with the last date that i had i've got questions that um people have asked this time by the way for each video if you give me the questions that you want me to answer i'll do it that way um and then um I can use that to shape what's going on also I'm so sorry because I heard myself back and I'm very annoying with my like ums and stuff like that but you know you'll get over it so <laughs> that was so sassy okay so um I had a date with this guy uh, let's call him Blake <laughs> I feel like that wasn't even that good okay so basically like we didn't actually talk that much and this is my problem i think my thing is is that i proper like people like after i've got to know their personality so doing the dating this way means like you're not really getting a chance to like spend a while talking to them but sometimes i do like my my bestie um ex is basically like get them to meet you first Cass. So. <laughs> So, so you know they understand the way that you work so do you know what that's actually not a bad idea as well because obviously my chaos can be sometimes a little bit like too much for people if they don't know me <laughs> so I thought it was a good idea for me to go on the date I had an option to not go on the date and I think I should have taken it because we went out we so we had the Halloween event was meant to finish at 12 so I thought it was like um fine for us to go and have a date the next day at like I think we were planning to meet at 11 30 and here's where it got messed up first of all should have known that we weren't going to get there when at 1 a.m we were still sitting in the bar and we sent him three accidental three accidental voice notes one of them being what that mouth do <laughs> so yes yes I am the problem I would I would also say that the friends being my friends were also chaotic because we kept recording voice notes and trying to cancel it and then each time accidentally sending it to him and then being sent into peals of laughter about us doing that so yeah that doesn't necessarily help also please ignore my chaotic way of doing makeup it's just um yeah it's, it's just my process um so i feel like that would have been the problem at 5 a.m i was still coming back in my taxi 
who by the way decided to like smoke weed throughout the whole thing i actually recorded him just talking at me for i want to say at least like 25 minutes whilst he's like no no don't worry i'll stop talking and then continuing to talk my face looks amazing i know <laughs> so anyway um yeah so obviously i would have needed to get up at 9 30 <laughs> i would have needed to get up at 9 30 and this is what i was doing <sighs> So I kind of wake up around that time, maybe about 10. And I'm like, God damn. So is this, he, the guy's like, oh, I've booked something special for us. Meet me. Okay, first of all, we had to meet like an hour away. It, okay, it was giving kidnapper. <laughs> but I also made sure like where I was going was like in a safe place and like shared my location with my friends or whatever. So... Um, he was like, okay, he wanted to do like a surprise, which is cute because I love surprises, kind of like the fact that he like remembered that, um, but he was like, oh, um, what we need to do is um, going to be like a really specific time, do you want us to do later? Because I had to do like a whole sponsored stream as well, I was like, no, that's fine, I'm going to be able to do it, still in denial, I needed to meet him at 1130 I left my house at 11.30. So, I think we know the clownery that's already happening. And before anyone says anything, like, Cass, is this something that you do all the time? You left, you were late for the last date. I didn't think I did. I'm deeply reflecting on this. Um, please ignore the chaotic way I'm doing this makeup, because... One, I don't know what I want to do. Two, I'm panicking because I'm like, oh, I definitely don't want to be late for this one, for this day. Um, and also, like, I'm doing my makeup without all of my stuff because um, my makeup bag got stolen the other night. But yeah, that's a whole different thing. So we're just working with what we've got. I've put the dark thing over on my um, face because of the way that I want the shadows to look. And I saw someone doing it on YouTube and it looked cute. Although my eyebrows look chaotic, but I'm gonna fix that. Anyway, so, whew, um, met him. Okay, so I, he was my type. And I feel really bad about this because he was super sweet. And I feel like this is the thing of when people are like, well, actually, I want to say he's super sweet. But then he also did like some incelious expelleramus things as well. Like um, talking about hot tub streamers. So I was also like, mm, okay, so you're one of the guys that thinks that they're super cute. But also you say some things that are a little bit incelious. But all right, okay, fine. Um, he was so nice about the fact that I was like, exactly an hour late and he was like um just like it's completely fine he knew that would happen because i'd kept him updated like i had text him um throughout the drunken night like hi we're wasted <laughs> we're finished and um i'm actually surprised that he would want to continue going on a date with me because i definitely sounded like um shenane the mess but um yeah so we he knew I was going to be late. Um, we met in Costa, which is fine. And then we just like sat and we were talking and it was cool. Everything about it was cool. But like, I don't know if you've seen the episode of like Family Guy where it's like Buzzworth Killington. And I was looking at him and sometimes when I like someone, I like to make like sexual fantasies about them in my head. Just so you know, I can like, you know, that that thing where you're like, oh, okay, I need to pee. Let me make it sexual. That's probably too much information. Don't know how to fix this. This light is making me look ashy. It's going to be fine. So, um, nothing. The, uh, I was looking... Uh, I'm, I, I actually don't want to drag him. And I don't... I hope he doesn't see this. Please don't, because the other guy saw this in my last one. And he... <laughs> After our last conversation, he was like, definitely don't record this update. I mean. So, uh, 
Um, I need to fix the lighting in here because the lighting in here is making me look like Corella the bitch. So, um, he, um, I was just looking at him and I couldn't, like, there wasn't even a single fanny flutter. Like, I was like, oh, maybe. I was looking at his lip and I was like, oh God, this would chafe me. Like, I just, I just, I felt like there wasn't really, okay. So lessons that I've learned. We can't use my camera to do my makeup because, oh my God. Okay, so, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. The lip was, I don't, oh my God. But he did this really cute thing. So I'm, I love Demon Slayer. He made me earrings. Like, as in, he got beads and he made the earrings for me. And I thought that was so cute. And like, I don't know, I proper wanted to like, like him. And I thought that was such a considerate thing. But like, there was nothing like, cause he was, he seemed very vanilla. Even his boots were vanilla. Like he's, he's giving, I don't know. Cat lights, please don't do this to me today. Hold on, I know what I need to do. Because this is me. I promise you, the way that I'm looking like ashy in this light is not what my actual face looks like. I'm going to take pictures to prove it because I feel like you're not going to believe me. Anyway, so um, I adjusted my lighting to um, accommodate for my interracial friendships. And my white friends have ruined my light. Okay, so, um, yeah, I don't know, like, I couldn't, like, I was looking at him, and I was thinking, hi, if you've, if you ever came into my stream, and I was like, hi, how are you doing, shake me daddy, you would be like, what the fuck, he was just giving, and it, everything was just like, I don't know, and I don't, <sighs> he, he, oh, I don't know, but, the fact that he came with, like, a gift and stuff, you know, to the throne. No, I'm joking. The fact that he came with like a gift and stuff was really considerate and I thought that was really cute. But I still wasn't like, it wasn't something that I was feeling. And I was hoping, I was proper hoping like, oh, once, maybe once we start talking, I'd feel it more. But all that kept happening is that the Sahara Desert was growing inside my vagina. And I was like, oh, for fuck's sake, this isn't happening. So then he was like, right, do you want to go for lunch? And I didn't want to be like, yeah, no, I don't want to go for lunch because then that would have been rude, especially after he'd waited for so long. And I was thinking maybe if we start talking because he was really nice. And I actually had a fun time on the day. I was just really aware of like that there was, there was no... There's no vibe or anything, do you know what I mean? Like, sometimes I want someone who's going to consensually just, you know, press his thumb to my neck. In a threatening way, but in a sweet, romantic way as well. I All I can imagine hit was him, like, crying after he busted out. I just... I can't. So, anyway, we have, like, dinner, like, lunch, whatever. And it was really, really... Like, the food was good. It was nice. Could have made it at home standard felt like i'd it was microwave food but whatever and um i paid for the meal because like you sh so first of all he was like i'll oh, do you want a half it didn't really um insist on that is it shallow that i like take note of that stuff probably but i felt like because i'd made him wait for so long and because like i wasn't really interested i felt like i was wait i had wasted his time so i wanted to, to like um and plus he was really cute and made me and got me a gift so yeah so then I like I did whatever he walked me back to my car um <laughs> there's a ticket inspector there he tried to argue my ticket inspect my the way out of the ticket but ticket inspector wasn't having it um, and he, the ticket inspector was really cute because he was like, ah, some older African man. And he was just like, sister, I feel so bad I'm doing this to you. I was like, I mean, but you're still doing it. So <laughs> clearly you're right. <laughs> How are you going to tell me you feel bad about giving me a ticket while still writing the ticket? Hello? <laughs> Do you not have the power in your hands? Are these not the decisions that you've made? <laughs> so, um, like, I just, 
I don't know, we kind of stood there and I was hoping that like, <laughs> I was hoping when that happened, he'd go, you just gotta wait. It was like, okay, cool. Um, so then, um, yeah, I had to come back and stream and I was, and I knew that I would have to say something to him because I didn't, I'm really bad with telling people like, hey, it's not that, it's not working out. So I would, I'll just end up like, why does it look like I've got not on my hand? So I would just end up being like, hey, let's be friends. So I'm really trying this time to not do that. I'm trying to be like, be able to be like, hey, this isn't a situation that you want to be in. This isn't a situation for them. So just say no, Cass. You don't need to try and make friends with everyone that it doesn't work out with. So I didn't, but I wasn't ready to have that conversation. So I kind of like left it. And then when I was streaming, he sent me a message like, hey, so I'll ask first, what did you think of the date? And then I, <laughs> I went with the like, oh, it was fun. But I just, I know that I needed to be like, you know, more specific or whatever. And then I was like, oh, um, I, I, oh gosh, I realised I'm not even following the questions, but most of these questions are the ones that are asked, like, what did we do? What did we think? One of the things that someone asked on the last one, actually, was what did I wear? So I just wore, like, a, <laughs> my back for blood, like, jumper, because it was fucking cold. I wore a jumpsuit, um, tights and, like, boots, and I was pretty much dressed in all black. I guess it's, like, the funeral tour... <laughs> Our relationship that never got off anywhere um so then um yeah I was just like do you know what to be honest like I had a really good time but I didn't feel like there was a vibe there like I didn't um feel like there was a connection or whatever and I was just kind of trying to stutter my way through saying this to him because I just felt like felt bad and he was like yeah he was like oh I would have um I would have um happily met again to see if we could try and get that connection but like um that's completely understandable and I was thinking the same because obviously like I just think with our, our energies were completely different like it wasn't I just I don't know may, I, maybe I'm the problem I don't know but I just felt like there wasn't really I couldn't I couldn't imagine like I couldn't imagine us and I don't know if that's a shadow thing that people do or whether that's just like like sometimes I'll look at someone and I'm like I actually physically can't even imagine us together like first of all like I want to have a man whose chin I can use as a whole seat anyway I <laughs> I want to have a man like I feel like can handle my my thick ass and I feel like I, I don't think that he would have been able to, <laughs> to be honest. And so, yeah, I just, I couldn't imagine him catching it back. All right, so now I'm just going to do like, oh, thank you, lighting, for working with me. What did I do to fix that? <gasps> oh, I know what I did. It was that. Oh, okay, I know what I've done. I've messed up the colour balance again off my thing so we're gonna keep this here because this is what my face looked like because before it was given biracial she's a biracial girl and then back okay cool so i need to sort out my white balance because i clearly have done something with that again so yeah um anywho um look at skin skinning ah! all right so um yeah, I don't know. I just, I basically said that to him. And then I asked him the questions. I didn't tell him that I was reviewing the date. I wonder if I keep this here, whether it'll keep the same, the same vim. I'm going to use something. I have literal crap all over the place. When I get back today, I'm going to sort out my, my cam and I'm going to sort out my life and things are going to be great. But in the min meantime, can I leave that there? Am I going to break that? Right, okay. So, shit. Hold on. I'm going to, there's going to be a break in the video. 
whilst I listen to the guy that I'm actually meant to be on a date with now. <laughs> His voice message. Shit then. Okay, right. I'm back. Hi. <laughs> okay, so, um, yeah, so I asked him and I was like, right, what did you think of the date? What did you think? Like, did you think that I was awkward because you don't even know? Like, you know, oh, one of my things is the fact that, like, I am so awkward and I feel bad for anyone that has to go on a date with me because if they're not on the same, like, energy of, like, <laughs> of shenaniganry that I'm on, then, um, I bet, I just think they'd be like, oh god, why is she making life difficult? So, <laughs> so um, he was like, no, he didn't find it too awkward. We also, we, we kind of vibed because we had the same kind of interest, like we were interested in games and like anime and like kind of geek shit. So that was really good um, to, because that made it easier to talk. Like, even though I felt like it was a little bit dry, because I felt like, maybe it's because there was no flirtation, it, I, I still felt like it wasn't hard, it was, it was easy to, like, kind of vibe and connect with each other, so I thought that was a good thing, um, then, yeah, so I guess he was, like, kind of feeling me, and I wasn't really necessarily feeling him, but that's okay, um, so I just was like, all right, cool and then I was gonna do that thing where you know like maybe we can and then I was like no Cass you don't want to do anything like just leave it don't don't be giving people like false narratives or hopes or whatever so I just kind of ended it like oh okay well I'm gonna go to sleep now and yeah which I don't know I, is this growth I don't know I think it feels like growth it feels like I did something sensible for once which I'm here for because you know <laughs> decision making I also cut off like one of my toxic exes as well well I mean he was always dead but I like I actually block because sometimes he'll like send me messages like crying like hi blah 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 like you were the one and I just like I was, I guess he still had access to my life so it was kind of good that I didn't anyway so I don't understand why I've gone into this whole thing so um he was a no. But the date wasn't chaotic. It wasn't like fucking Memorial Bay where like that was a, just a journey. The update was a journey. Even the update after the update was a journey, which I haven't really gone into because you know what? I, don't, I feel like we're not going to make him a three-part series. But he watched a video. He tried to play games. We are definitely never talking again. We didn't meet up again. We would never meet up again. We... <laughs> I deleted him as well so yeah like that's that I anyway yeah he nearly put me off this whole thing with the way that like he was on fuckeries but you know we gyrate um I'm just gonna give like a little bit of texture some little freckly dot things nothing too much because I'm a black woman but still just like something look looks really cute for the look that I want okay so that was normal that was fine do you know what wasn't normal was I had a date before that so the date that cancelled before that which is why that there was a delay was a guy that I'd been talking to and I'd been speaking to him for a while um I want to say like for maybe a year um again I've probably made that up I don't know maybe a year I gave him, again, I did that thing where I, like, I stopped talking to people because I'm like, oh, we're not going to meet up or whatever. And also, I get into my brain and I get a bit bad-brained or whatever. So anyway, um, I, I, I messaged him when I was going to go on a date with someone else. And then I was like, oh, hey, like, if you want to meet up. And then he couldn't do it. And he was like, oh, maybe another time, so fine. So then, like, he messages me afterwards, and he was like, hey, I'm still interested. Um, I asked for a hangout, not for a date. He he said, oh, I'm still interested, and, I'm, and I was like, what? And he was like, you know, dating you or whatever. And I was like, okay, cool, we can do that. I was like, I initially messaged you just for a hangout, but, yeah, that's fine. He was like, okay, cool, sounds good. So the night before we were meant to meet, I was playing Dead by Daylight with him and I didn't realise how fucking annoying he was. Like, he was just doing a lot of stuff that I was like, where is the common sense? Like, saying things like, 
Oh yeah, you know, because I wouldn't have gone on a date with you un until like you uh but or something something or like I felt guilty. And I was like, okay, sorry, are you saying that you're going on a date with me because you felt guilty? There's a man that's been asking me to go on a date with him for ages. And then he was just like, he just did that thing where you just kind of like freeze and try to like not say anything. I was like, I, <laughs> I'm here. Anyway, so I was just kind of silent. And so in the, like, I think the next morning or whatever, like I send a message and I was like, oh, I just want you to know if we're still meeting up because to be honest, I kind of wanted to, to do the date so that I could have done it. And he was like, I don't, he was like, I don't think, he was like, um, I don't know if we should because I think you'd find me annoying. That's self-awareness. I was like, okay, maybe you're right. Okay, cool. So then I was like, yeah, fine. All right, take care. <laughs> what is wrong with me? I don't know who I've become. In some ways, I kind of like it because I've always been someone that's like not not been able to like shut things down properly. But I was like, yeah, okay, cool, that's fine. I was like, you don't need to say my number, right? Can I? Is that bad? Is that toxic? I feel like it wasn't. I feel like it wasn't. Nothing was going to happen because he's right. I I I hadn't. I don't know whether it had been lockdown. Maybe it was just because I have very little patience now. But everything he was doing was so fucking annoying that, yes, he's 100% right. He would have annoyed me. So that wasn't the actual story. What the problem was, was that because we were meant to go on the date and this was like, he kind of like confirmed this on the Sunday. I was like, well, I still want to take myself out. So I took myself to a pub. I got my book and I was like, I'm just going to have a date with myself. Had my food or whatever in some place and like that wasn't too far from me in like Windsor. And as I was leaving, I go outside and this woman, <laughs> this woman stops me. She's like, hi, can I just speak to you a second? And I was like, yeah. She was like, I noticed that you were by yourself and my daughter and I were talking and we really wanted to invite you. Um, but, you know, it just got to a point and then we looked at your food and we saw that you were almost done. So, I was like, people can go out to eat by themselves. Why is this the thing? I've never had anyone, like, it got to the point where I was like, okay. So then, within this time that she's talking to me, she was like, asking me questions. I don't know why I do this and not, my friends hate this. Instead of me being like, ma'am, mind your business. Don't worry about me, sweetheart. I decided to still continue the conversation because I felt like being polite and she was like oh um what do you do I'm here answering her like she's a fed <sighs> then she's like okay yeah I'm I'm cool I'm just here by myself with my daughter and I was like oh that's lovely she was like yeah um my husband was um Jamaican um, I was with him for 10 years, but, you know, because of my alcohol pro My girl went into every single thing. Meanwhile, still making me feel bad about being by myself on this day. She told me about her alcohol problems. She told me about men that had been cheating on her. She told me, okay, this is really triggering. Didn't know me. She was like, yeah, because, you know, I've had cancer like four times. Ma'am, we literally just met. You stopped me from what I was doing to have this. And I don't know what it... Maybe it's because I'm sure. I don't know. I have no idea why she felt comfortable enough to tell me all of this stuff. So my dumb ass... This is outside as I was about to walk to my car. So what does my dumb ass do? She's like, can I... Um, do you want to come in and just see my daughter for a second? I was like, I'm going to go. She's like, just a quick second. And I was like, fine. Go in. Her daughter's looking like this is absolutely normal again I was gonna do I was like hi nice to meet you yeah your mum told me thanks so much for being concerned about the fact that I was by myself um having my food and she was like okay fine sit down pushes <laughs> pushes my shoulder down do you know what this woman does she strokes my wig and is like oh your wig was looking a bit messy first of all my wig is always looking messy <laughs> Second of all, the entitlement, and I don't even understand, like, and the thing is, is that you would think, I know what you're thinking, it's okay, 
she must be a Karen. No, no, she wasn't. She was a full on Indian woman from Slough. The daughter tells me about her relationship. The mum does. I'm just sitting here. Then she's... And this is where I'm a clown. This is where I'm a clown. Okay, I was a clown from the whole me sitting down to have a conversation with them. Oh, I'm trying to put some, like, black on my non-existent eyelashes. Just so that I can blend them in when I put my eyelashes in. So, <laughs> why did I stay there? The clown that is I decides to give my telephone number to her. I just wanted to get out and I didn't know what to do. She calls the telephone number. The telephone number doesn't work. <laughs> I was like, oh my days, what? Oh my gosh, I can't believe, did I, did I do this wrong? She's like, yeah. <sighs> so, had to give her the, the right telephone number. To be fair though, she hasn't called me. So I feel like, you know, maybe that's but then also i don't think she was drunk because you know she told me about her alcohol problems as well so she's put that in the past isn't that amazing but i've learned that all in the state so basically if i get stood up someone else will hello hello lina look at you doing everything that you're meant to be oh. okay anyway so um if i get stuck on that <laughs> stood up on a date I can always have random options from sitting in the pub so that's also a thing so yeah that happened with date one that cancelled the second one is a bit of a weird one okay so he was the one that I was like oh his friend died so and then it, I was like oh I don't think someone would lie about that and everyone was like someone would definitely lie about that um <laughs> so I don't know I felt like I should She'd just be like, look, I don't think... And also, I wasn't getting the vibe that he was interested. I texted him this. He was fucking brewing. He was like, um, no, this is the second time that you've said this. Um, I'm just going through some bad things and at the time, at the moment. And that made me feel bad. But obviously, beforehand, it, looked, it sounded like he was chatting shit. We had to meet up to go on a date. And, like, he didn't say anything. And then, like, it just... Oh, I don't know. You are drier than a nun's hole, ma'am. Yeah, I just, like, I don't know. I didn't really... And I felt like, okay, you know what? It's... I didn't, I didn't want to make him feel pressured by having to, like, worry about having to see me or whatever when he's going through... Whatever he's going through, if he's actually going through whatever he's going through. If that makes sense. So, yeah, he wasn't impressed by that. And then... I joined Hinge. Hinge was probably the probably the best and worst decisions decision that I've made. <laughs> Mainly because like when I went on there, everyone looks like they should be um a supermodel. And also Hinge has Hinge lets you um record voice notes. So What's the first thing? But also Hinge does things like this. Someone messaged me and said, Oi. Not hi, nothing, oi. That's how they, like I'm a cab, like I'm a right, I am a right. But like I'm a cab, so yeah, um, I don't know. Um, I don't know how that's going to go, but that was one of the things that was given by my friend, the challenger. Let's call Claudia the challenger. Um, here's what I did. I want you guys to appreciate this. <laughs> I've literally recorded this eight times because I find this so funny what concert costs 45 cents <laughs> 50 cent featuring Nickelback <laughs> <laughs> oh okay alright anyway so I've been using this joke everywhere so I don't know once I put that up someone unfollowed <laughs> well two people unfollowed me I think people don't realise and appreciate my creative comedic genius if you would like me to repeat the joke for you please drop a comment <laughs> in the things um <laughs> hinge is okay i feel like in some ways it's 
So it's less. So I don't know. I'm I'm getting less connections than I than I am than I. Oh gosh, words cast than I than I do with Tinder, but the quality of the connections are better. So I've like spoken to um like some guys and I just like felt like we were on the same kind of vibe as well but I'm a little bit too intimidated because some of the people that I'm talking to or are like liking me I feel are too good looking for me and then I'm like okay what is going on so then that makes me paranoid oh another thing that I would say I asked the guy because you know I told you I wanted to um, know what I was like on a date or whatever. So I asked the guy two questions that was given. Okay, I asked him. I, this is the one that I had the date with. Right. I said, okay, good. Can I ask? Because I never know about it. And I always hear from people about bad dates. Was it an awkward date? And did you think I looked like what you expected? And he said, it wasn't awkward at all. You looked exactly as I expected. And physically, I was very attracted to you. Um, but you're right, perhaps the spark wasn't there. It was definitely not a bad date from my point of view. So, you know, things. You know what? I'm going to go for a bit of a graphic liner. Am I going to do this and mess up my whole look? Probably. Am I going to get mad about it? Probably. Is my date going to care? No, I'm going to put some stars underneath my eyes as well. So I feel like I should... That's ways for me to garner how the day's gone, the date's gone. Without, like, telling them... Without giving them, like, too much information. Does that make sense? So one, they don't go looking, f looking for the video. And second of all, that, like you know i can we can see how the date's gone i feel like this is really precarious okay sorry concentration levels on right that you are so dry okay so is it bad for me to go on a date and ask him to come with me to get line art because i can't live this life yeah that, that was that's week three a summary i feel like we've covered quite a lot so we had the date the halloween date which to be honest like i said it wasn't bad it wasn't like it wasn't it wasn't like overly eventful it wasn't like messy it just wasn't like a vibe um and then obviously the the guys the guy that i was like talking to and then it didn't go anywhere like both of them to be fair I do feel like I need to start being better with cleaning up with the guys so like if it's not going anywhere just being frank with them and being like hey and not <laughs> and obviously not waiting for one of them to to find the, the dating video so that they can drag me I feel like date one was a dick bro like everyone was saying that when they heard about the date that is not equal oh is it kind of yeah they was people were saying that when they were like looking back and watching the date um so i'd love to know what you lot think um okay i think that's kind of worked um right let's put some lashes on because we've got to go soon um yeah i'm just gonna quickly put on some lashes change show you that outfit and then we're good to go okay so i'm done i had to go and get a thing okay we've gone for big hair this is what oh, looks slightly you know what don't worry about it sweetheart i don't think he's gonna be noticing <laughs> so yeah i went for a jumpsuit anything with pockets um ah! we'll see how it goes i'll see you in the next video thank you for getting ready with me okay bye oh yeah if you've missed anything <laughs> am i gonna trim that probably not if you've missed anything go and watch all the other things <sighs> yeah all right good luck bye